There's more players in football than any of these major sports. There is more contact in football. Do you honestly believe we are going to have a season? I don't, and I never did. I don't think they'll complete the season. I think the odds are extremely low, and I've said that since the outbreak of this pandemic, really. Look, let's start. You just mentioned it. There are more players in football, not fewer like in basketball, and I was cautiously optimistic that the NBA could actually crown a champion this year. But, guys, that's mostly because they were almost done with their regular season, even for the local TV money to kick in. They only had to play six or seven more games, something like that. Then they get all their money, and then they can go right to the playoffs. They had it in a bubble. And think about how Adam Silver approached this. Let's take the most conservative approach to this. Let's, let's the most restrictive approach. It's going to be in a bubble. Everyone gets tested multiple times, et cetera, et cetera. They suspended their season in March, by the way, when there were, what, five or 10,000 cases daily? Now there are, it's come down from its peak of 70,000 a couple days ago. It's down to like 55,000. We're 10 times the number of cases daily now that we were then. So if you suspend it then, and it's 10 times worse now, how are you going to start up a season now? But the NBA shut everything down, said, OK, with relatively few people, once we can get our hands on enough tests where we're not, where testing is more widely available, we're not taking it away from people who really need it, we can contact trace and all those things, we'll set up a bubble, strict protocols, you can't bring your family, it's only a couple months because we're almost done with our season. That approach, guys, leaves me cautiously optimistic that they can finish the whole thing. But the NFL seems to be either they have no plan or they're not communicating it well at all because the players seem to think, as was evidenced from, the, from their tweets over the weekend, that they have no plan or at least it hasn't been communicated. And what it seems to me is that the NFL, instead of taking the most conservative approach, and then if things get better, you can loosen it a little bit. Instead, they're taking the most kind of uh, a li liberal approach, for lack of a better word, in the sense that, they're, that they want things as close to normal as possible. But that ain't going to work, and now it's too late, really, to set up a bubble. Notice, the NFL has canceled everything that's... The draft was done over so, uh, over, uh, with social distancing over video conference. The, as you saw here on ESPN, the Hall of Fame game canceled. Now the preseason canceled. They're not, guys, if they start their season, I see virtually no way they're going to finish it. Even baseball, who couldn't work out a deal, said, okay, we'll do 60 games. 60 games. I don't know if they're going to finish their season, but baseball is kind of a socially distant sport to begin with, and they already cut their season in almost a third. The NFL wants business as usual. All the regular season games, no central location, no bubble. They just now eliminated, pre eliminated preseason games. This, this does not seem to be a, a realistic approach. And the NFL, from the beginning, has had a starry-eyed approach to this. Not realistic, not conservative enough. I, don't, I, now, I think it's actually too late now to reverse everything. I don't see how they finish their season if they start it. Well, Max, you, like a lot of people, have been doubting Roger Goodell in the NFL from day one. They talked about free agency. We can't do it. Play. What's it going to look like when guys are getting all this big money amidst the pandemic? Guess what? The NFL went ahead and did it. Oh, what about the draft? The, it was going to be in Vegas, and now they had to change that and, and, and do it virtually. Is it going to feel the same? Is it going to be different? The NFL can't pull it off. Check mark. They did that. I think the one thing that Roger Goodell has shown us, he and the 32, uh, 31 guys plus Green Bay that he works for, the NFL, they are willing to push the limits and do what it takes for, to have an NFL season. Ultimately, this comes down to money. OK, you have billionaires who own the team and millionaire players who are working for these owners. You talk about, do I believe the NFL is going to have a season? Absolutely, because the players, the employees, 95 to 97 percent of those players need to go out and play. OK, they can hold out. B back in the day when we were talking about the CBA and holding out, the players couldn't do it then. So amidst a pandemic, as long as the testing procedures are there, which they agreed upon. We're going to test you every single day for the first two weeks. We're going to cut out all meaningless games. You mentioned the preseason, Max. You mentioned the Hall of Fame game. Those are meaningless games from a veteran player standpoint. I give it to you. It's going to hurt the rookies in the back end of the roster. There are going to be some guys who would have probably made the team 
had they been given an opportunity to play in two or three preseason games. But overall, the product of the NFL will be fine because the NFL is about star power and about veteran players, and that continuity and consistency will happen throughout the season. But do I think the NFL is going to put their toe to ball uh, with the, the Chiefs and the Texans on Thursday night? Absolutely, because there's entirely too much money involved. And barring this, Max, here's the only way I'll cave in to your theory. Barring somebody important in the NFL, albeit player, albeit coach, albeit owner, somebody that gets gravely ill and they have to be, be put in the hospital on a ventilator, that is the only way Knock that wood, the that NFL happen. train is stopping. And they are showing us that. They've shown us that from the beginning of the offseason, and they're going to push full steam ahead now. Well, I mean, what else do you guys expect? Listen. It's the blind leading the blind. Listen, when, when it comes down to Roger Cadell, it nothing surprises me with him. His lack of leadership is poor. I'm glad I just don't have to deal with him. I feel sorry for you, Booger. You're my brother, but I feel sorry that you have to continue to an, uh, be an NFL analyst and cover Roger Cadell, who's probably the worst commissioner in sports, and I'm over here enjoying the good life co uh, covering the best commissioner in sports and Adam Silver. Like Max said, they don't have a plan in place. And when you see players lashing out, tweeting out, and then you see uh, the NFL on one side saying about, you know, how they're going to, you know, test this way and then test every other day, to me, that raised concerns that they're not putting these players' health as a priority, and I just don't see it happening. If the season do happen to continue or do happen to start up, it's going to be a disaster because they don't have a plan and they should have learned from the NBA how to how to communicate association communicating with the NFL but it doesn't surprise me they all over the place sometimes like how Max is on for on this show all over the place and confused <laughs> that's how the NFL is In right one now place. thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus